Now, in the OVI world, if you're being charged as an attorney, a win in our world if you're in plea negotiations is getting anything other than an OVI. And what I mean by that is not necessarily a dismissal because it's rare for them to just admittedly dismiss a case just because you explained it. But a common reductions are physical control and reckless operation. Those are wins if you're cutting deals in these cases. The reason that they're wins is because it's not an OVI and the label of that will follow you forever. It's a scarlet letter. But these physical controls and reckless operations have less meaning for employment purposes. A physical control is a non-moving violation and doesn't necessarily mean that you are impaired. A reckless operation, it can be a number of things, but it doesn't necessarily have to do with impairment either. Each of those offenses have advantages and disadvantages as it relates to your record, more importantly, your BMV record. A physical control is a non-moving violation and has zero points attached to your record, which will have less implications on your insurance. A reckless operation, depending on which reckless operation it is, is either a two-point or a four-point violation on your BMV record, which could have adverse effects, on your license. So those are common wins if you're in the world of negotiation. Now sometimes they're not willing to negotiate those types of offers and that's where we have a decision to make. Do we press on if we have legal issues or do we cut our losses short? And that really just depends on a case-by-case -case basis as to whether you have a good fight. 